Biden announced he wanted to open it. That was back in his State of the Union address in March. It's finally up and running. How's it expected to work? Well, Mary Louise, this all starts on the island of Cyprus. Humanitarian aid is inspected by Israeli officials and loaded onto these massive cargo ships, which set sail to this temporary pier off Gaza. Then the aid is loaded onto smaller ships, which go to a second pier closer to land that has a causeway onto the beach. So trucks driven by contractors will drive along this causeway where the UN will then take over and deliver the aid. Then the trucks will return to the pier, go back to the ship, and this process just continues in a loop. The expectation is the pier will initially get up to 90 trucks per day before ramping up to 150 each day. The Israel Defense Forces will handle security on land, no U.S. troops on the ground in Gaza. And there are two what's called deconfliction cells manned by U.S. and Israel to make sure these trucks are properly identified and not mistakenly attacked, as we saw with the world's central kitchen workers who were killed by an Israeli airstrike. 